Hello friends, this is Melissa Twig coming at you from beautiful Lake Logan Martin in uh, Alabama the beautiful and this is one of my dear friends and older friends. Yes. I, mean, I don't mean old friend, I mean one of my oldest friends. <laughs> like uh, wine. That's right. <laughs> we only get better. I know and, and I haven't seen her in years and years and she saw me on Facebook mm -hmm. talking about uh, my venture that's coming up, my, my four month uh, tour through Latin America. Mm -hmm. And one of the reasons why I was doing that is because I had a dear friend um, who found out that he was going, um, he was going through uh, spinal cancer. And as a result, after I made sure he was okay, the, the, the four questions that I asked myself, have I done enough, have I been enough, have I seen enough, and have I given enough? And the answers to all those questions was no. And so as a result, uh, Kathy was listening on her end, and I, you tell me what happened. Well, actually, I was I was in this place that a lot of women uh, our age, where we've raised our families, our our kids are, are grown, they're out of they're out on their own, and we're like in a place where, you know, what is my purpose? What what is what are the next steps? What is the next chapter of my life going to be like now that my child has grown, and now that I've established myself in, in my career, and I'm looking at retirement in ten to fifteen years, and um, and I still have my health, and it's like, have I done everything that I need to do? Have I served my purpose? Have I given back? Have I paid it forward? And as Melissa just said, the answer to those questions are no. And it, it causes a restless spirit. And I love that uh, Kathy, when she got in touch with me, she said, I, I have a very restless spirit. I need to talk with you. And so we, she also talked with another friend or two mm -hmm. that was kind of going through the same thing. And it's exactly. around the same age, it's 50 mm -hmm. is. Mm -hmm. And um, what happened is we've done just most about everything right. Mm -hmm. We did everything we were supposed to do, which is being the good mother. Exactly. And uh, in your case, the, the good caregiver. daughter, the, good, the, the caregiver, the, the good employee, the good employee. Uh, the good, and the good manager um, done everything yeah. right and now you're like well now what now what's in it for me while well, I still feel good mm -hmm. um, and I still have some vitality in me what do I do now mm -hmm. so uh, when Kathy came to me she was actually having some issues with even anxiety mm -hmm. and she reached out to a couple of friends to mm -hmm. get some and what was some of the advice that you got well from? and some of the advice I got was just you know when, when you start putting your thoughts out there in the universe as we say that you know you you want to do things like for me this time last year I declared that 219 was going to be my year of uh, you know just transformation and I didn't know what that was I just knew that I needed a change because my life was changing and I knew that the second chapter of my life was quickly approaching and that I needed to do some things differently. Yeah, and I think what happens is we realize there are so many more days behind us now than there are ahead of exactly. us. And while you still feel good and while you're still vital enough to help and do, uh, especially, and I believe that that is our only purpose for being here is to, to, to give back. And so, um, I just gave Kathy a few suggestions because she was kind of in a tight spot when yep. she got here. And so I told her that she was going to have to start living like she was dying. And I said, what would happen if you found out tomorrow, God forbid, mm -hmm. that you had three months to live? Mm -hmm. And I and the, she started spitting <laughs> out. And I said, what would you want to do? And tell her some of the things you spit Well, some out. of the things I said, you know, I, I, I haven't traveled enough. I haven't I haven't been to Europe and, and, and seen certain countries. I haven't been to Jackson Hole, Wyoming, which is here in the United States. Those are things that have been on my bucket list. Mm -hmm. There are things that I want to do to help people. I want to, you know, work in the community and, and, and to help people become better uh, in life. And, and I feel that I need I need to do that. And that I need to, to definitely um, start figuring out how I can spend my time doing that. Exactly. Right. And she wanted to jump out of an airplane. And yeah. she mentioned dri riding yes. a bicycle exactly. through, um, <clears throat> through the wine country, I Ex remember. Well, exactly. So I, yeah. do you remember what I told you? I told you to go get an indelible yep. marker, mm -hmm. go to your bathroom mirror, <laughs> and you put on the bathroom mirror, jump out of an airplane, yes. Wyoming, yes. Jackson Hole, Wyoming, uh, wine country, and the other. And you have mm -hmm. to put specific dates on them. There's a few reasons why you write that down, and mm -hmm. and um, and I did this. You can ask some of my closer friends. That my bathroom mirror had uh, red uh, writing on it, and most everything that I put on there has come to be because it was in my face every single day. So I told Kathy that I think that she should start putting specific dates and timelines and time limits on it. Now, can you do it? Can you figure out how to do it? Do you know how you're going to afford it and that kind of stuff? That is none of your business at all. <laughs> what you do is you put it out there. This is what I want to do. 
and this is where I want to be. And y what will happen is that things will start arranging, yes. rearranging themselves, yes. so that you yes. can those things will happen. And so a job that opportunity so or a speaking opportunity, something will happen. It comes to you. Yeah, and yes, you're like, how does. does this happen? Well, it happens because we are using visualization. Mm -hmm. and I cannot stress this enough, and I don't, I don't really care what people think about me because <laughs> this stuff works. It's true. Yeah. So you it's visualize yes. what you want. It's, it I call it visualizing the victory. Yes. Yes. And so what you're doing is you're putting it out there with such emotion, mm -hmm. such feeling. Mm -hmm. So you have to see and feel. I cannot mm -hmm. emphasize that exactly. enough. You've got to see when you, and I told Kathy, when you wake up in the morning and right before you go to sleep at night, you have to see exactly where you want to be in your life. In my case, I'm a mother. I was told I'd never be a mother. I saw and felt it done already. There are many, many instances in my life where I have seen and felt it done. And here I'm about to do a journey. How did that happen? I don't, everything lined up and realigned, and there we are. So I want to share with you that if you are wanting to do, if you have that longing, if you have that, um, I call it divine discontent, mm -hmm. because you really, it's, it just means you, mean, you need to do more. If we didn't have discontentment, we wouldn't have microwaves and, and uh, <laughs> airplanes and that kind of thing, because we uh, we need the discontent yes. to push us forward yes. and make us do more. So Kathy was gonna go on the remote your trip with me, and uh, I think Darn. she still is gonna meet me at some. I'm point. I'm going to jump on that plane at some <laughs> some point in in the the time that she's there. Um, I may not get to leave with her um, at the time that I wanted to go, yeah. but I am making a plan to uh, make sure that I jump in and at least come visit and see some of the sites that she's yeah. seen. And the beautiful yeah. thing is, it may not even be what she's done now. She had such passion about this, and yes. she was, you know, on a on a path for about two to three weeks, yeah. probably. Yeah. And she was very, very much in passion and yes. on fire and believing and feeling the feelings it would be to be on that plane or yes. on the ground and doing yes. the dancing and Latin and actually America. preparing. I, I was. So I already saw too. myself doing the salsa somewhere behave, in South America. Behave as if it yes. were done already. I cannot stress that enough. So, and then what will happen is things will fall in place, and I can hardly wait to see what happens with I Kathy. know, I can tell all of you out there, I know I am going to see this chick <laughs> in South America. I don't know what specific day, but I know I'm going to come see her. I'm going to hop on a plane. We're going to make that happen. Yeah. And we are going, as we say, I'm visualizing it, and I'm already putting a plan in place. And guess what? Those chips are falling in line. Mm -hmm. So maybe it's not happening as happening as soon as I would like it to happen, but it is going to happen. Yeah. It and, will. and I'll tell you what's happened with Kathy since we had our talk. She's kind of had a rebirth, even in my eyes, oh, yes. because I've known her for years. But in my eyes, I've seen a rebirth. And so now what's happened, she's like, look at the people that are coming in my life. Look yes. at the, the people that are attracting uh, me, uh, uh, that I'm attracting in my life. When she goes to the car rental place, she fully anticipates and expects that she's going to get an upgrade with the car, that she's going to end yes. up in a, a fine car. She sees people attracted <laughs> to her spirit now. And that's exactly what happens when you are happy, truly happy. Yes. Uh, that energy and those vibrations just hit everybody. And the it's, most it's interesting thing is, it is, it is true. It's like you attract what you are. So if you're in a positive place and you're already visualizing that what you want is what you're going to get, it comes. And as I, I said to Melissa, you know, I was traveling recently and I was thinking to myself, you know, I really would like to have a rental car that's a convertible and it's a Mustang. I love Mustangs. And I walked up to the uh, car rental place and I said, you got any Mustangs uh, on the <laughs> lot that are, and they're like, you know, as a matter of fact, we do. And of course, I love black Mustangs. And guess what they had? <laughs> they had a black Mustang convertible for me to drive around the Carolinas and they didn't charge me extra. So I was really, really excited. And they were just so excited because they thought that I was just so happy and just it just made their day. Yeah, and what happens is that people, when they feel the energy, so yes. that's what we want to get across. So today is Independence Day. Yes. So maybe you can declare independence from, we called it, uh, we call it prison with no bars. So when yes. you're in a place where you are not happy, and you, you literally, there are no bars, but you have put yourself in a prison with no bars. Yes. Get out. Free yourself. Become independent. You have the keys to the cage. Yes, you If do. you are a caged bird, the, the person or the problem is you. Yeah. You need to fly. Absolutely. You need to use the key, 
unlock yourself and go. Yeah. And it's fear. It's fear that we have or sometimes the thought of making what other the people will think about you sometimes too, and that just that and just doesn't oh, make any sense. Oh, and people at all. will tell you, uh, like for instance, with Melissa, you know, when when we were talking about this, oh, you shouldn't go to Latin America. They're going to kidnap you. <laughs> There's all kind of crime down there. Well, you know what? In my neighborhood. You got to watch out for that because there's all all, all kind of crime well, in I, in my city. Yeah. So I mean, it's uh, you know wherever you go. Well, I've, I'm a firm believer that you attract certain things to mm -hmm. you, good things or bad things. Yes. So anyway, I just wanted to share this with you. I think there are a lot of us ladies in this position who's done everything right yep. in our lives, and it is your time. It is your yes. time to free yourself, to step out of that prison with no bars. And I wish you independence. I wish you good health, and I wish you happiness. I hope you have a phenomenal Fourth. July. We're going to go pack yes. this in my back. Yes, we are. <laughs> yes, we are. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye, everyone. Thank you.